here at Hyde Park Community United Methodist Church in Cincinnati, Ohio. My name is Ben Owen and I'm the music director here. Today is the 20th day of Advent and we will sing a very familiar carol together today. It's in the United Methodist hymnal, number 238, Angels We Have Heard on High. Now this is a, an old French carol uh, called Les Anges uh, and it's from the southern region of Languedoc. Uh, in the southern region of France. And you know what they say, uh, that it, the carol isn't from the region of Languedoc, it's just a Christmas hymn. That's a joke. But uh, it was sung there, um, probably starting in the 18th century, the mid to early 18th century, but it wasn't published until uh, 1855. And there were eight French stanzas uh, to this carol uh, that were published. And then it was published in English with not necessarily a translation, but kind of a paraphrased translation um, in 1862. And Gloria in excelsis uh, is Latin um, for glory to God in the highest, uh, which is taken directly from Luke 2, verse 14, when the angel choir uh, sings to the shepherds out in the field to herald uh, Christ's birth. Now, uh, this carol is very famous, uh, but there's some interesting things about it. Like these, you know, we all know the long Gloria. It's almost uh, a meme. So because it was written or sung um, in the 18th century in France, particularly the mid or early, uh, there was this kind of musical fad that went through the French music at that time called Note Anigal. And you might recognize it as swinging notes. Like... So no, that didn't happen just with jazz, but uh, really the French started it back in the day. Uh, but perhaps when they first sang this carol, uh, they applied notes unigal or unequal notes to these long string of glorias. I'll just sing one line of it with uh, the French swing. Personally, I'm just used to straight eighths, but uh, you can make the decision which one you like better. But uh, let's go ahead and sing it. Number 238, Angels We Have Heard on High.
bless you and I'll see you tomorrow.